and welcome to Seven Days to Die. I'm Wicked Oros, and we're back in my test world. We'll be looking at a few mods that I work with on a daily basis. And the first one that we're going to look at is the HUD. Creator of this mod is Skomar82. And it's posted up on 7 days to die mods.com under Skomar82 HUD. There are variations of this HUD. My variation shows, of course, food, water, stam, health, buffs, the temperature, how high we are, level deaths over here on the right hand side kills here on the left hand side normal bar the other variations of this alternative display would add cash zombie kills to the left loot stage deaths to the right numbers on your boxes here on your tool belt there's also a variation that gives you 15 to your tool belt and without counter so if you'd like to try out this mod on the 7 days to die mods.com scomar82 hud the lockable inventory slots and this one is by KGB of course we all know he's the one that created a darkness falls this one is my lock on here and it also works for storage and vehicles Anything that is within this lock will not move. So you can keep your inventory straight. This is also on 7 days to die mods.com. Again, it's lockable inventory slot. The next mod that we're looking at is also by KGB. It is called HP Bars. And with this mod, it will show you the hit points and the name of the creature that you are looking at. So like here, it works with pretty much anything. We got our radiated vulture. Wolf. Mountain lion. Bear. Let's meet Arlene. Taurus. This is Marlene, Big Mama, Nurse, Tiger, Feral Burnt, Joe, Feral Darling, Janitor, Lab worker over here, we have our feral businessman hazmat, our cop. Oh, some of them got away. Look how far out they are. Radiated lumberjack. 
This is bow. Mutated. Our thug, formerly known as skateboarder. Our screamer. There's the lumberjack I lost. Here's Mo. Everybody knows Mo. And Party Girl. It also works on containers. Here's a supply crate from Airdrop. This bar works on pretty much anything that would have a name tag. The next mod we're looking at is Max Animals slash zombies and claim blocks. This mod is also by KMGB. In my game, I am able to bring up my zombie max to 100 and my animal max to 100. And for the claim blocks, I can go up to five, but I will show you what happens when we place the blocks. This is my first one. My second one. Notice it's not broken. Third. Still unbroken. Let's place fourth. These usually the blocks will break. Five. That one is unbroken. Here's my fifth block. I will go back in. Get a sixth block. I'll place it. Sixth block is not broken. Fifth block, not broken. Fourth and third. Let's see, this one is starting to break. That one's not. This one is broken. Inactive. Inactive. Active. Active. How it works is the first block that you set down, it will go up the line to the last block you set down. If you go over the amount of blocks that you are allowed to set down, they will start to break. So six was the last one I placed. The first one and the second one was broken. This mod works great when you want to take over multiple places and the cool thing is it also works in multiplayer so each player in the game is allowed to place five blocks and five blocks in total each player. So it's a fun thing to have when you want to take over a little town with buildings close together. This mod is also on 7 mods.com where you normally would max zombies, max animals, and claim block will be in your normal general tab. If you enjoyed checking out these mods, smash that like button, share, subscribe, become part of the Wicked family, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.